you guys, it's the kid, it's the kid, it's the kid. I know it's, it's, it's been a long time, it's been a long time, but your boy is back here. Your boy is back here reporting from Siberia, man. You guys, you don't, you don't pay me enough. I think it's about minus 70 and my balls are icicles. My balls are literal icicles, okay? The little icicles. But I'm here doing the work for you guys. So this is, this is me doing that content crime. I'm out here in the freezing cold. If you pull the bezel around, I'm trying to give you that um, Brick Academy of Dattini. So, guys, what's, what, what's, what's happening? So, we've, so, first of all, let's just talk about your boy Quidditch. So, Quidditch was actually in... So, when he beats Dortmund, he was actually put off in Class C. But after that trash, this bomb did, um, he's now been moved up to Class B. So, your boy Quidditch has moved up to Class B. And if he loses to Real Madrid and gets one of the UCL, we're looking at a scholarship, a potential wing, even. Um, so, um, what, what, what was I was going to say? So, so basically, that is the reality there. And, and I think, look, a dude who is tenth with the kind of team that Chelsea have, with the likes of Felix, Enzo, Fernandez, and so forth, um, he deserves to be in the Africa Academy. So, hopefully, put about you having class b residency with the threats of a potential class a upgrade can maybe make him realize that you're coaching the second biggest club in the world and get a move on Tottenham have been inducted into class b um yes we know they're losers yes we know that they're bottle jobs but this is a new law the way they've gotten out of the FA cup the way they've gotten out of um the um karabuki cup the way they limped out at school without scoring a single goal against a beatable milan side i think you know these guys they've taken loserish nature and brickness to another level as we've seen here from Tottenham. Um, so what else do we have there? So so I mean again, a little updates. So um Vena is now in the scholarship section because I forgot how crap this guy was. Then watching the Manster game I was like, oh yeah he is he, he really is that bad. So yes Vena joins your boy Neong um Ruli that keeper um, yo, the ref who decided to call f um, full time five minutes from time from the AFCON, and of course the number one scholar himself, Karius, all in scholarship residency. Um, class A again, no change there. Haji rights from the um, U.S. Men's National Team, the Italy Football Federation, and the Nigerian Football Federation. Um, so, Class B. So I'm going to say Class C. So Kepa was. So suspended after you know he had a, a run of a, a few good games and Kepa said, "Hey, how about Chelsea fans? Hold my beer, hold my whiskey, hold hold my freaking vodka with that trash attempt at a save against Everton." So he's now back into Class C. So Kepa keeps going back out and back in. So Kepa is back into Class C. Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace have been inducted into Class C. So you sack Patrick Vieira. You don't support him when he's actually trying to make policy for bowling side by giving him fruit salads. And what do you do? You hire Roy Hodgson, a man in the 70s, a man in a freaking retirement home, in his slippers. You, basically, you, you, you kidnap an old man from the retirement home to try and get you away from relegation. If they survive relegation, amazing. If they, if they don't, horrible team that deserve everything they have. This is, this is a painful one. This is, this is a real painful one. Um, so... Um, shout out to your boy um, Joseph, um, who tweeted out the sun rises in the west. <laughs> I don't know what has happened to him. Um, this was a guy who I supported. I loved when he was good, but the Brick Academy does not discriminate. He is. He has been inducted into Class C of the Academy because he's just not had a very good season. And I think it's has. You have to give credit to Kane because Kane has been pretty much doing this by himself. Because without his core pilot son. Um, stuff is crazy. This is mad. And shout out to your boy Adaj for telling me this because when I read it, I said I have to do my research. So I think Richarlison has played 16, 19 Premier League games. Guess how many goals he, he has scored? I'll give you a hint. It's less than one. Yes, zero goals. He has scored a zero goal so far in the Premier League this season. And this was the man people said would help lead Brazil to a freaking World Cup. You people are freaking sick, man. Um, some su suspensions, delicts, your boy Darwin Nunes, your boy um, Cocaine and Havertz have all been suspended. But, you know, they're good performances. Under review, Lissandro Martinez for what Salah did to him. Yes, he's still under review for that. And Sufati, that's this is a painful one. And Sufati is a real painful one because um, he was a dude who, given the number 10 jersey, how clutch he was, I thought this was a guy that could really, really do some amazing things, man. But, um, I don't know what has happened to Vicky. 
I, I literally don't know what has happened to the guy. The guy has pretty much lost all of his his powers, and I just think that it's maybe just the injuries have really um, affected him and affected his kind of confidence for him to say what's up and for him to give the, you that Salini, man. But it's, it's, it's horrible what has happened because I do believe that he's lost all confidence. And, and, and without confidence, you are useless as a player. Khalidu. Um, there's a crazy narrative going around, around here. So Chelsea at 10th, Napoli at first. You know, um, Chelsea look like if they can't sniff top four. Napoli are a few games away from clinching their first right title since the great Armando led them there in 89 and 1990. So in all of the years that Koulibaly was a Napoli couldn't give them the Dubinsky, the year in which he, live, he leaves, they're about to get that freaking Dubinsky. The narrative makes for very, very bad reading, man. And um, it's just, it's, it's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate what has happened because, again, you look at that goal that Chelsea scored, Koulibaly was bullied off of the ball. He literally was shoved off, off the ball, which just makes it even sicker, man. So for Khalidu, I mean, like, he has been doing well. That's why I wasn't going to induct him fully, but he's definitely under serious strenuous review. He's under serious strenuous review for that trash that he's been, he's, he's really been, been doing for Chelsea, man. So that's what we have it, man. That's what we have it. I mean, just some things also notice as well, the PSG wing still remains. I will probably do another video because I think I don't think you guys have actually seen the PSG wing, so I'll actually do a video um, from the PSG wing to give it like a larger insights into those bombs doing ourselves LSG. So I think the next video from Siberia, <laughs> if, if it doesn't get too cold, is going to be from the LSG wing and so because that thing still remains there. And one that really, you know, um, saddens me is um, hazardous is, is class B. Now anybody. Stop type. Stop typing right now. Anybody who types in and says why well, he's in class A or a scholar, anybody who makes a McDonald's, a Burger King, or a Wendy's joke, I'm going to suspend you from the streets. I'm going to suspend you from the next screen. So no fat jokes, and I'm not putting him... Because I think the reason why he still remains in class B is because I think this is much more of an emotional thing rather than a football thing. You know, so... Um, I feel that it is right for him just to, you know, remain in class B, stay there, think, think about yourself, because I think this has now gone beyond football. This has gone beyond a performance thing, and I do feel that, as you well know, the Brick Academy's greatest success story was Benzema. He created the scholarship tier, and he went from being a scholar to winning a freaking Ballon d'Or. So that is the amazing success story. And I do feel that this hazard thing is what is we have been put to the test he's been in i think he's been in the academy for at least a year so i just put my head like this you promised that this won't hurt me or turn me into a freaking nigerian leprechaun and afterwards i feel a slight burn and then i will then have an afro <laughs> he's been here for at least a year you know so and we've just we've tried everything we've tried everything to help him and we can't find any answers so if anybody can email the website as to what we can do to get Hazard back to Zad, we would pretty much be obliged. And also, just quick, very quickly, obviously, obviously Sergio Roberto was Class A. He should remain in Class A. I want him to keep him Class A, but he did score in an El Clasico. So, do, he ain't, he ain't getting suspended. That, that, that ain't there to happen, man. So, the least you can give me is, okay, I'll put him down to Class B. I still want to put him in Class A, but because he scored the goal, I'll put him down into Class B, man. So, guys, remember to check the website and the Brick Academy for all of the updates there. And if there's anything you want to add and so forth, just use the message contact icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen um, to send me any questions or any thoughts as to who should be inducted, who should be suspended, and who should be made a scholar. All right, I can see three polar bears right now staring at me, so I feel this is the time for me to say bye-bye, adios, asora later. Peace!